everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today I want to show you the Veilton GP100. So the GP100 is a very affordable and very tiny multi-effects pedal by Veilton. It has a lot of features but I don't want to go into deep in every feature so I will list it up here on the screen for you. So in this video I will show you four different presets which you already heard on the intro song. And after that we will create our own patch with the GP100 software on my PC. So let's go! So 
now I want to show how you can create your own patches with the GP100 software on my PC. So that's the user interface. And the first thing that I make sure is to turn on the stomp mode because I want to switch the pedals. And yeah, so let's search for an amp. So I'm looking for a classic rock style sound. So let's search for some Marshall style amps. Let's take the UK 50 JP. Then we need a speaker. And we take the UK GN 4x12, which is a Greenback style speaker, I think. If you want, you can import your own IR files. That's pretty cool. But in this case, we take the UK GN 4x12. So let's have a listen. You have to make sure that the blue light is on here. Yeah, sounds pretty good already. Let's make some adjustments. Okay, so let's add a slightly bit of reverb. Let's go here and take plate just a little bit. Okay, that sounds great in my opinion. So let's take this as a rhythm guitar sound and now I want to make a lead guitar sound and add some distortion and delay. So let's start with the distortion. So I don't want, really want a distortion pedal, I just want a, an overdrive pedal in front of the amp. Let's take the green OD, so a tube screamer style pedal. Volume up, gain down and the tone a bit higher. That sounds great. So let's turn off the reverb and add some delay. Let's take the P echo. So So that sounds pretty cool. What you also can do is synchronize the patch BPM, which you can set here, with the delay. So if I go to 200 BPMs on the patch, we can synchronize it and you can see the delay goes with the BPM. If we turn it down. But in this case, we just want it like it is. So the next thing is setting up uh, which pedal is on and off when we hit a foot switch. So the main sound should be only the reverb, amp and cabinet. So delay off. So now when we hit a foot switch we want that the overdrive turns on, so we go here, 
and set the DST for distortion. And when we hit the foot switch 2, we want that the delay goes on. And we also want that the reverb goes off. So now when I go to the pedal and turn on the foot switch 1, you can see the distortion pedal goes on. If I press the foot switch 2, the delay goes on and the reverb turns off. So that's pretty nice. So now we can save our preset. We can here enter our name, some notes. Go to save, give it a name. So that's basically it. We created a new patch and it's automatically on the pedal. And yeah, I really hope this was helpful for you. All right, that was it for today's video. So I'm very impressed by this pedal. It really got great sounds and it's also very affordable and pretty easy to use in my opinion. So if you also want to check out this pedal, I put some affiliate links down in the video description and you can also support my channel with that. So don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.